On Monday, Chairman Upton and I requested that the Government Account Accountability Office ass assess DOE's plans to resume consideration of the Yucca Mountain license application, including assuring DOE maintains the necessary infrastructure, contractors, personnel to assure that the Yucca Mountain project can resume. Do I have your commitment that the Department will cooperate in good faith with the GAO as they conduct, conduct this review? Okay, and your microphone's probably, I don't know if it's turned on or. We will, yes, and the answer was. I heard you, okay. but I'm, for our transcribers, we wanted that in the record. Do you commit that the Department will not take any unilateral actions that will set back the Yucca program further, including anything to alter the physical structure or by allowing contracts that support the Yucca Mountain Project to lapse? I will have to, uh, I don't know exactly the situation with that contract that you're referring to. I'd have to get back to you for the record. Uh, please do, because as you know, I monitor this as closely as I can. Yes. Okay, um, now we want, I want to move to uh, boreholes for a second. You have strongly advocated for the development of boreholes to dispose of a small amount of DOE's inventory of the defense nuclear waste. This initiative is concurrent to your initiative to develop a quote-unquote consent-based siting process, which, as you know, contradicts the Nuclear Waste Policy Act. Contradicts or it's not in compliance with. There's no provision for this in the current law. In January, you, DOE, announced it was award awarding a contract to drill a test borehole in North Dakota. I'm sure you are aware that there has been substantial public pushback on that project. I'd like to ask a couple questions about boreholes and your proposal for consent-based siting. In the interest of time, is if you can, you know, like a yes or no, so I can get, th there's only about four or five of them here. Are you aware of the Office of Nuclear Waste Negotiator that was established by the Nuclear Waste Policy Act? Um, yes, I'm, I'm aware of it. Are you aware that the negotiator made available funding to study the potential of interim storage nuclear waste storage facilities? They did, N historically. Th th hist historic. Historically, to study, yes. yes. Mm -hmm. Are you aware that in 1991, 1991, county commissioners in Grant County, North Dakota, applied for these grants? No, I was not aware of that. Okay, but they did. Mm -hmm. Are you aware that after applying for the DOE grants, all the county commissioners were recalled by their constituents? Well, they were. Based on historical experience in North Dakota, why did you choose to even try to award a grant to a North Dakota-based team? Well, uh, I, was, I wasn't involved in the selection, but there was a, there was a competition. Uh, there were a number of proposals, uh, and the scientific review team felt that th this was scientifically uh, a, a very good place. And, of course, we, we, are, we are now working uh, in terms of uh, another, another location that's, that, that's appropriate. Well, that's important because, as you probably know, yesterday the Pierce County Commission in North Dakota unanimously rejected your borehole project. How does this now impact your deep borehole proposal? Well, as I said, the, it's, it's actually in the contract that, that, uh, that if for any reason the site is unavailable, that we will have uh, another site, and, and that work has been going on now since the initial, initial uh, problems. Uh, 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 okay, here's my oh. problem. When I taught high school, the executive branch per the Constitution is designed to enforce the laws of the land. Mm -hmm. We do that telling kids that they, uh, they have agencies and secretaries that help enforce the law. Mm -hmm. It's unfortunate that you have been part of an administration that is not enforcing the Nuclear Waste Policy Act and is subverting the intent of the law. And it's particularly pro uh, troubling in that this quote-unquote consent-based process, uh, which you use to discourage, uh, attack, obfuscate the long-term uh, location in Yucca Mountain and use a state-based dis discussion, where you now talk about boreholes, you try to ram it through county-based organizations without even a state-based discussion. So. The Department of Energy is continues to, to hypocritically move to obfuscate, delay, break the law, and I wish for the sake of the republic 
that the, the administration would abide by the law. And I yield back to my um, time. Mr. Chairman, may I respond? I, that's a very important point, yes. I think. Um, first of all, I mean, as we've said before, we are following the law. But I want to specifically address. Uh, Mr. Chairman, you're not following the law. The Nuclear Waste Policy Act is pretty clear. There's no authority for interim, interim storage or interim sites. And, and that's why we don't have an interim storage The Nuclear site. Policy yeah. Act is a we conjunction of both new, the spent fuel and defense waste. There's no bifurcation of where nuclear waste goes. Uh, um, well, may, may I just focus on the North Dakota? Well, if you're going to spend additional time, then I'll spend additional no, time. Mr. Chairman. Yes, Mr. Rush. You uh, granted the Secretary's request to respond. So I think that we should allow him to respond. Would, would my colleague le yield? No, I won't Your do. questions were about would a, a following administration follow the law on, on minority hiring, but and we have an administration that's not a following the law from a different administration. Mr. Chairman, it, I agree. It's hypocritical, and it's wrong. Mr. Chairman, we, we allow the secretary to answer the question and to respond to the question. That's the reason why you granted him the time. So please allow him to respond without any interference from any member of the subcommittee. Well, let me just say that uh, I think Mr. Shimkus raised an important point. I know there's a legal action on this as well. The Secretary has asked for an opportunity to respond, so I will grant him that opportunity. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. But I, I will just respond narrowly to the, to the North Dakota borehole, but that's all I was responding to. Uh, uh, I want to emphasize that uh, the statement that this somehow is not consistent with a consent-based approach does not apply. This is not a nuclear facility. This is a scientific uh, 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 experiment uh, which, which clearly uh, may have, depending upon results and, and where, where analysis goes, may have implications as a useful uh, high-level waste uh, disposal approach. Uh, it also may be useful for engineered geothermal systems. This is a science experiment. It did not have any consent-based process, uh, and we never do that for uh, for grants for science experiments. So th this, it's it's apples and oranges. Okay. 